that can be crazy, loud, overwhelming, and often painful. Our church, this group, wants you to know that we are glad that you are here, right here, right now. This is what we've all been waiting for. Get ready, because we start in five, four, three, two, one. Well, welcome again, you guys. Thanks again for joining us online. Mm -hmm. um, my name is Sam uh, Mettler, and I'm the youth director here at Charity. Um, and with me tonight, I have uh, Sam Coleman, who is the associate here as well at uh, Charity. Yeah. And we're just so glad that you were able to join us and yeah, absolutely. jump on. And I hope that you're getting something out of the uh, series that we're uh, bringing to you guys. It's been such an uh, it's been a s inspirational um, piece for me just to kind of look at more of breaking down God's Word and kind of studying God's Word. Well, I think that's such a cool, um, even the fact that you mentioned that, Sam, like one of the things that is really cool about this is we're like learning right along with you. Like, I mean, this is something where as we go through these lessons together and as we kind of really um, strive to understand God's Word, like you and I, like we're learning a ton too. And so it's cool because then um, we hope that you're able to learn this as well, but we're doing this together. And that's just absolutely it. You know, I mean, this is God, Jesus's ministry, and, and and that goes back to our first week. Was you know, the real major point of the Bible is mm -hmm. God is is Jesus and looking absolutely. at His example. Mm -hmm. But you look at His ministry, and it was a lot of relational. It was a lot of teaching. It was a lot of working together. Mm -hmm. And and I know Jesus learned some things on earth working with His, even though. He is part God. I'm sure he learned alongside his, his disciples and everything else. And I think that's just such a fun thing. And that's one thing I love about student ministry is working with students mm -hmm. and watching their faith grow. Absolutely. Yeah. Because um, then it also inspires my faith. Yes. And, and it's just so awesome yeah. to be able to go ahead and do that. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, and I think, it, you know, with... When it comes to God's word, there's just so many different kind of crazy stories and verses and just everything that really <laughs> makes things really kind of question. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Even as you're saying that, like, you know, you just, there's verses in the Bible where you're just like, what does this verse mean? What what is what is going on with this verse? And I think that sometimes we kind of, we read God's word and we're like, I don't get this at all. Like, I don't understand this at all. And I think that it's so true. I think sometimes we really get into this place where we read God's word and we're expecting something, mm -hmm. but nothing changes for us. Right, yeah. We're kind of like, I, I'm i reading this because I want things to change or I want to have a grasp on how to deal with this situation or I want to look at like life differently. Or I think about like middle schoolers period. And you know, when you're in middle school, you're asking so many questions. Like there's just like, uh, like, how am I supposed to look at myself? How am I supposed to look at God? How am I supposed to look and treat others? Like, and, and I think there's just so many messages that come, at, come to us. And it's so very true. Like, even taking it even out of the context of, of, of the Bible, even, you know, just like, how am I supposed to develop friendships? And mm -hmm. how are friendships supposed to take place? Mm -hmm. and, and all of that. And so there's so many things that are happening in middle school. And it's such a different time. Yes. Yeah. And I think that, that's why we really have to, like, going back to our week one, was looking at Jesus' example mm -hmm. of how he did ministry. Mm -hmm. How he did life. How he did life. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And use that and apply it in our lives. And so that was week one. Week two, we talked, um, looking at the context behind God's word. Mm -hmm. and, and why was some of the stuff written? And, and what was the purpose behind why it was written? Mm -hmm. And I think... You apply those two pieces in your life, and you can kind of start looking for some inspiration on what God's Word is really truly about. Absolutely. And I think that's the, the kind of the theme for this tonight's message is, is looking for that inspiration. Right. And, and so um, I'm going to read 2 Timothy uh, chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the NIV version, and it says, All Scripture is God-breathed, and useful for teaching, rebuking, 
correcting training in righteousness so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I like to, like, in that verse right there, you know, it says, so that the man of God, but really it's the man or woman of God, yep. like, so that us as followers of Christ can be equipped. Yeah. And that's just so true. Like, the Bible is this a very big instruction manual mm -hmm. for us. Yeah. And we can look at the inspiration that God has for us mm -hmm. by looking at God's Word and looking at what He has for us. Yeah. And... That's why it's so important to get into God's Word. It's so important to read what He has for us. Yes. And I know that's been our challenge is that you are in God's Word and reading. And I hope that you guys are finding questions and asking questions. Right. Well, I think like, you know, even like as, you're, as we talked about last week, there's some crazy stories in the Bible. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's some crazy things that happen in the Bible. Um, whether And a lot of it happens in the New Testament. There's yep. just some kind of... Um, you're like, what actually was going on? You know, and of course, you know, one of the things that, we, that we've kind of mentioned that I really love talking about is dinosaurs. And uh, I don't know if there's any, uh, any of you out there that love dinosaurs, but I love dinosaurs. I think that they're so cool. And the movie that I absolutely love is, um, what, what's it called with all the blue people? Uh, oh, Avatar. Avatar, yeah. Avatar is like one of my favorite movies. I love the world that was created in there. And uh, I know that they're coming out with an Avatar too. I'm so excited. I, I'm a movie person. I love movies. Yeah. And I, I'm really excited to see that and see, because I mean, even when Avatar was first made, it was such a kind of above the yes. spectrum with everything, with the, the technology that they came out with. And it's such an awesome production. Right. So I'm kind of excited to see now that if we have had a few years, what more they can do with this. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, like the world that they created with like the bioluminescence mm -hmm. um, and, and, then the, and then when they're riding the dragons, yeah. I think there is something like inside of us that says, I crave adventure. I crave like this sense of flying, you know, oh, yeah. and there's these like floating mountains and you're like, like when I watched that and I know that this was, this was actually like what a lot of people said is they said, I want this world. Yeah. I want to experience this. I truly believe that someday up in heaven, we're going to be riding dinosaurs. Like, I've told my little boy that, um, that someday we're, we're, going to be, we're going to be riding a T-Rex and pterodactyl or something like that. And the reason that I can, uh, can actually even say that with my little boy is because when I read the Genesis account, mm -hmm. um, what I say is that, you know what, even though science and evolution may say that this is not true, I say, you know what, this, this book has been proved over and over and over. Absolutely. And what's actually happened is that people, science, throughout history has said, this, the, we're right, the Bible's wrong, but ultimately as they actually explored it, they found out, oh, we're wrong, and the Bible's Bible true. true. And so I say that, you know, when God says that he created animals on day number six, along with mankind, that he created animals. And that the world before the flood was a much different place than Absolutely. it was now. And so then, like, you know, when, when the flood happened, and all of a sudden all these animals died, and um, mud and sand was put over the top of them, that created the fossil record. And I said, that's when dinosaurs happened. But, or that's how we got the fossil record. But really, like, I'm saying that God's true, God's word is true and it's inspired. Absolutely. And yeah, and so like that's just kind of like I think both of our hearts is that we would we encourage you to also be able to say, you know, I'm going to trust God's word over what anybody else tells me, and then like for us to understand kind of like what th that acronym GMO. Yeah. What does this say about God? What does this say about me? And what does this say about how I treat others? Absolutely. And so when you're looking at the inspiration mm -hmm. and taking it one step farther and thinking about the, the questions, the GMO, what does it say about God, myself, and others? And mm -hmm. take it one step farther and ask the, the questions, what, where, and why, mm -hmm. with the inspiration that God has. Yes. Um, why was it inspired by God? Yeah. What was inspired by God? And where, it kind of breaks it down to where would that inspiration came from? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And even like what's amazing about this book is that there was over 40 different authors. And I think it spanned over like a 1,500 yeah. year period. 1,500 year period, yeah. And so it's just an insane time frame for a, a piece to be written and put together. Absolutely. And, and it's kind of interesting because the Old Testament 
there's things that reference the New Testament. Absolutely. And so yep. to think about over a 1500 year span, mm -hmm. it's like having your great, 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 great grandfather tell you something that relates to something that's happening right now. Absolutely. And yeah. it's just so interesting, interesting that that can be a piece of it. There's this cohesiveness about God's word. There's like you see the tree of life at the very beginning in cre of creation. And then in, Gen in Revelation, at the very end of the book, you see the tree of life come out again. Yeah. I mean, you just see that there's this cohesiveness of the whole Old Testament pointing towards Jesus, the whole New Testament pointing back to Jesus, and then the book of Revelation saying, and then he's coming again, and he's going to come up and, he, and he's going to make everything new. And it, there's just this beauty that happens in that book. And everything flows together. Yeah. And, and that's just, you know, I mean, again, the whole point of the Bible is, is to know, get to know God better. Yes. And, and just to understand who Jesus is. Yeah. Um, and so when you're looking for this inspiration, and my challenge is we've been challenging you guys, is to read God's word mm -hmm. and study God's word. But do you take it deeper and ask questions. Yes, absolutely. Ask questions. And uh, we will have small group times where we can talk about these questions. Mm -hmm. um, there will be, you know, Sam or myself are always available for questions. You can talk, text us, email us, you know, yeah. whatever you need. We'll gladly answer any questions that we can. And by the way, like Sam, do you like milkshakes? I love milkshakes. Okay. If you like milkshakes, what I would say is you, you talk to Sam and you say, hey Sam, I'd like to go out for a milkshake. And uh, you guys can go out for a Cold Stone milkshake. You can do that with me too, but I know Sam loves milkshakes. And just talk over life and talk over the questions that you have. And, and I think that that's such a true thing that I, I, I'm wanting to connect with you guys. Mm -hmm. And I can, I, I love doing that over ice cream. You know, I love Coke and Mountain Dew, so I mean, we can do it over a beverage too. Right. Um, whatever, but just ask questions and that's my biggest challenge. Yeah, yeah. And uh, hey, if you got questions, send them in to us and maybe we can even answer and talk about them next week. Yeah, we'd love to do that. Thank you again for joining us. I hope you guys have a great and blessed week. And I hope that you have a great weekend. Whatever you may be doing this weekend, I hope it's a great time. Yeah, yeah. And remember, we're in this together. We're, we're in this faith journey together. Absolutely. Thank you and have a great day.